do that. No? Uh, I can actually do that. I'll, I'll take this one. That's, cool. that's fine. So, yeah. No, once I realized who you, uh, you know, I, I tend to take the more technical things and whatnot. So, this is your robot? Yes. That is not the ADA yeah. compliant. So, so, who are you? Uh, where do you want to go here, I guess? Can we go more further out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't know if you were going to get washed out. I can't let him back. Doesn't have a tag. <laughs> so who are you? Uh, I'm Michael Ferguson. I'm the Chief Technology Officer of Unbounded Robotics. And this is our robot, uh, UBR1 or Uber. Uh, you guys are from ARM Devices. So uh, Uber does use a Intel processor for the main computer, uh, okay. but actually has uh, 12 uh, ARM microcontrollers, Cortex-M4s, uh, running all of the motion control loops within the robot. Where, where is everything? Uh, they're actually distributed throughout. So there's actually uh, an arm in the gripper, there's an arm in the forearm, which actually controls two motors, there's an arm that controls two motors in the upper arm, uh, and then there's actually uh, three microcontrollers uh, in here and, and one in here. Um, and then there's one in the head which does the pan and tilt. Um, nice. And then uh, within the base, there's actually one for each motor on the base, as well as one in the back that sort of ties everything together, uh, connecting the Ethernet from the computer out to all of those. Uh, so, which uh, Cortex M4 are you using? Uh, it's one of the ones from ST. So, why not uh, Cortex M3? Um, we, uh, we were on a sort of a very short development timeline, so this company was founded in January of this year. Uh, we actually launched two weeks ago. Uh, at Robo Business here in Santa Clara, and we really like having the floating point in hardware that's available within these ARM processors. Uh, it vastly speeds up development time, and and definitely gets away from sort of fixed point errors that you may end up in. Nice. So, what's what are you doing with the robot? What's, uh, what is it for? So this robot is uh, designed to be a development platform for building robotic apps. Uh, so developers can take this, use the Robot Operating System, or ROS, which is a framework for developing uh, on robots. It's used worldwide, it's open source, uh, and built on top of Linux. Uh, and so they can take that and go and do either research or develop applications, uh, whatever they really want to do, right? Uh, people want to see robots get out into the world. So what, what's next? Uh, well, we'll be taking orders before the end of this year, and we'll be shipping in June to July next year. How much? $35,000. All right. Uh, do you have other projects too? Uh, this is our only product at this time. All right. What can you do? Uh, so you can go around and pick up things. Uh, it has a mobile base, as you saw as we were driving out here. So uh, you can navigate around your building, uh, find objects, you can clean up your office. Uh, basically, whatever you can think of, and then go write the application to do that. Do the laundry and cook and... Uh, possibly. I mean, some of those are a little bit harder, right? Uh, cooking, recognizing food is definitely a little bit of a challenge. It's just a nap, right? <laughs> yes. 